Uh, I realized not just now, oh, that, what should I tell first? Let me tell you this first. So I did it. Um, and uh, also, with the assignment about who had to impress my mother and grandmother thing, I thought about that too. So when I asked y'all to do so, I'm doing it already, or have done it, and we'll do it. And I realized, I thought of my grandmother as being a really nice lady. And, and that impression came because she spoiled me. My grandma would literally let me have my way to an extent. And because and I remember some of my cousins that she was raising, they would be mad at me because she would treat me so well. Mm. And so I remember that. And then I, th so that came from my grandmother, because I later found out it wasn't true. But, uh, and with my mother, I always thought my mother being mean. Because <laughs> when I would see my mother, I never saw her really. Sometimes I would see her laughing, especially when she would visit her sisters and things. They would all be, you know how black women, when they get together, they giggle and laugh and make jokes and loud. <laughs> my mother was like that whenever she was around them, but when she wasn't around them, she wasn't asked that way. And then, uh, and I used to want to talk to her about my father, but I would always be nervous because I knew how she felt about him. So that impression came from her. And so the, uh, what I've started to realize that human beings don't follow instruction. They don't follow instruction. Have y'all noticed that about yourself? Mm -hmm. I said do it for four minutes only and tell me what the thoughts you have in four minutes. Y'all do it 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. <laughs> I did it almost four minutes. I don't know what time it was. How y'all expect to follow God when you can't take simple instructions? God said to be still and just know. He said do nothing else but watch. But no, you got to do something else other than just watch. You got to sit there and judge the feelings and thoughts. You got to sit there and fight with the feelings and thoughts. That's because you won't listen to anything. And I did the four minute thing all week, so I know what I'm talking about. And every time the thought would come, uh, one time you're gonna get to work, you're gonna be late for work. I remember once I was at three minutes and I was about to hit the four minute, I opened my eye and looked at the clock. And the devil said, oh, you gotta start all over again. So I started all over again. And so, and the reason for the experiment is so you can see that you're not your thoughts. So you can really start to see that you got to stop believing that you are thoughts and there's no truth in any thoughts. But if you can't follow instructions, how are you going to do that? <laughs> I'm out here all this, if y'all give me all this holy stuff, and what you're trying to do is sound good and look good. And that's the thing you need to be overcoming. You don't want to sound good, not look good. You don't want to sound holy, not look holy. You don't want any identity. And to, to sit in here and out there and put on the acts or just acts, and they're holy you in hell. You're just picking up another identity. That makes sense a little bit? Y'all, can you follow some? Four minutes is all I asked for. I didn't ask for 20 minutes. I didn't ask for an hour. I didn't ask for your regular prayer time. I just said, hey, sit four minutes in a room and let me know what you see. Come, let me, I'll come right back to you, but I want this young lady to comment on that, what I just said. Um, I agree with you. I feel like, I feel like a lot of times people want to impress and I, even me, I'm like, I don't know. I just think it's pretty ridiculous. Like, who are you trying to impress? Why? Like, what's the point of it? So I totally agree with you when you say, like, oh, you try to make yourself sound like this or sound like that. And yeah. I mean. That is it. And the devil telling you, oh, you need to add a little bit more to it. <laughs> you need yeah, to say this yeah. about it. Yep. If just to ask you, what impression did you have of your mama? You need to say it was from Satan. <laughs> you ain't know nothing about Satan when you got to impress on your mama. Yeah. 
the, saint, the devil's still telling you to put on an act. It's just like Bible thumpers and everything else. Stop looking to the devil so you stop being anything and just be you. You don't want to look holy. Well, you do, but that's fake. Yeah. And people can tell when you're being fake. Yeah. And then they'll get mad at you, at you for trying to help them because they see that you're being fake. Right? That makes sense? Oh, it makes perfect sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So listen to those thoughts. They make you do that so you can look all good, but you're not looking good. What do you think about what I just said then here? I agree with you. Yeah. Do you find that happening with you at times? Somebody say, if hey. If I really knew that the instructions were, were four minutes, I, I would have done, done it. I, I kind of assume sometimes that, like, oh, that's just, he's just telling people to do it because they won't do it. But I'm doing it for an hour, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> you should be doing that already anyway. But I asked for four minutes, and the devil told you all that. Yeah. The devil said, well, he does. God doesn't really mean to stay conscious all the time. God doesn't really mean to stay present. He doesn't really mean you sit still and let go. That's the devil giving you all that extra added stuff, and you listen to his voice. Can I ask a quick question? Yes. So when the ego dies, you still have thoughts? No. So is it, isn't your ego dead? No, it's not. It's dying. I'm aware of it. Okay. That's me. I do. I told you do the four minutes to help you guys become even more aware about thought. And the beauty is though, it's weak, and I no longer identify with it. And so when you, when I said do the four thoughts, I mean in four minutes. Hopefully that will encourage you to see in four minutes how you were overwhelmed with thoughts just in four minutes. Before you can sit down, the devil's already busy. So you can see that it's not you. And then the, the thoughts get weaker and weaker, and you become freer and freer and freer. And then eventually it'll be gone. That makes sense? Totally. And that's why the thoughts told you that, oh, he doesn't really mean four minutes. You know, he mean this. Is this helping a little bit? Anybody disagree? Oh, you had a question. Any other question about that? No. Yeah. And the devil, oh, I got a question for you. A good question because of what you did that. The devil told you Jesse doesn't have any thoughts. No. The devil told you Jesse doesn't have any ego. I've heard things you've said and I've, I, I made an assumption. And who made that assumption for you? My head. And who is in your head? <laughs> the devil. Yes. yes. Never, ever, 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 ever. Assume. Working on your life is a lifetime. It's just that as you work on it, you're getting more to who you really are and less association with the non-life, the fake life, and life becoming easier to live. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Stop assuming. You hear people speak wisely in this room, you, the devil tell you, oh, that person is smarter than you. You're like way behind. That's a setup. Now you got to compete with the person, and you'll come back next time. It sounded all smart.